Imagine spending most of your life unable to smell anything. When Margaret Wegner was four years old, she fell while she was carrying a pencil, and it went through her cheek and into her brain. It left her with headaches, nosebleeds, and no sense of smell. Back then, doctors couldn't remove the pencil. But in the five decades since, technology has improved. So earlier this month, an ear, nose, and throat specialist in Berlin took on the challenge. The patient uh, suffered from headaches, from nasal bleeding, and also from nasal obstruction. She had no sense uh, of smell, and so she came to us. X-rays pinpointed the pencil's location, which had moved away from Wegner's skull. The improved images also let the doctor see where the arteries and optic nerve were located. That meant he could safely get the pencil out of Wegner's head. There was no cut. There are no scars. Uh, we went uh, through the nostrils. Wegner's doctor says it wasn't an easy surgery, and he had to leave a small piece of the pencil where it was. But the now 59-year-old woman will no longer have the headaches and nosebleeds she's had almost her whole life. And he says her sense of smell should return soon. Orla Risi, Associated Press.